Hi, this is Bree. Today I'm going to do this red, white, and blue design inspired by the American flag for the 4th of July. To get started, you're going to paint four of your nails red and one of them blue. And if you'll notice, it doesn't match in the same hands because the blue is on the left. On my left hand, I have my index finger blue, and on my right hand, it's my ring finger. So you can make the mirror, but then one of your flags is going to be backwards. Um, let me see. I went ahead and prepped my nails with the correct colors that I want to use. And for the red, I am using Sinful Colors Ruby Ruby. And for the blue, I've got Sinful Colors again, and this one is Midnight Blue. And there's no guarantee that these are still available. They circle their, cycle their colors out pretty often. Um, but they do periodically go on sale at, like, Walgreens for a dollar instead of two dollars. So it's usually a good deal, and I stock up when they're on sale. Alright, so I went ahead and I have those nails prepped and we're going to go ahead and move on to doing designs. And this is going to be in several different steps. Alright, I'm going to start with doing my thumb and my pinky nail. And to give that some extra sparkle, since those are the most boring of all of them, I'm adding some red glitter onto the top of those nails. And this is Ruby Pumps. And I have a mini bottle and this is a China Glaze color. It's just a really pretty red shimmer. And on those two nails, at what's going to be the top, I'm just going to add a little bit of the red shimmer. And on the thumb, I don't need to go across the whole nail, just get it on the top part. And at the base, I'm going to add some blue. It doesn't need to be super, super clean lines because the white stripe across the middle is going to clean that up, but try not to get too globby all over the place or then you had takes forever to dry. So, I've got it about half red and about half blue, and that'll be divided into thirds when we go back with the white. Okay, and we're going to give those a minute, a couple minutes to get a little bit dried off, and we're going to go ahead and do the stamping to give the background of the pattern for these nails. So first I'm going to stamp on the red, and it's going to be white on the red, so I'm going to take some of my Conad Special Polish and put it on the stripe, and this is a mash plate number 46, and you can find these on Amazon, and it's just the mash set, I think it's set number two. This is plate 46. Scrape off the extra. Make sure that it got on there, and it did, and then I'm going to stamp that on my nail, which I'm not going to do it on camera, because I can't seem to do it straight. If I do it while I'm trying to be on the camera, but there's a lot of great tutorials out there if you want to learn how to do the stamping really well. There's one nail, and number two. I'm going to get this other one on there as well. Now that I have both of my red nails stamped with stripes, I'm going to go ahead and do stars onto the blue one. And that's where we are with these guys. And the blue stars were from also the mash set, and that one's number 49. Alright, I'm going to clean up my nails, and I'll be back in a minute. Now that I've cleaned up around my nails and gotten the extra polish off of the skin, I think this is the hardest step in this entire manicure. I'm going to make that right white stripe between the red and the blue to make the look of the flag. And this just requires trying to get a straight line. So get some white polish, and here I've got a White On by Hard As Nails Extreme Wear. And go on one edge, and then just roll your finger to get a line straight across. And it's the straight part that's the tricky part. go out. Start on one edge, put your brush down, and roll your finger. And there we've got red, white, and blue with a little bit of extra shimmer on the red. Fantastic. And now we're going to make the chevron pattern on the middle finger there to give that a little bit of extra interest. So this, it's basically going to be two diagonal fringes right toward the edge. So just start a little bit up the finger and down toward the tip from both sides. Okay. 
All right, everything's had a minute to dry just a little bit, and so we're gonna add the sparkle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some top coat so that I can get stuff to stick, and then I'm gonna move it over on top of my nails. And what I have is a toothpick with a little dab of Embella jelly on the end, and this stuff is from Scrap Perfect, and it's Embella jelly. This is really awesome stuff. It's almost like a um, slightly tacky chunk of, uh, I, I don't know, it's some kind of jelly stuff. And it's just slightly sticky, and it's sticky enough to pick stuff up without sticking it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a clear coat, and this is just cheap NYC nail polish. Um, and this stuff is like a buck regularly. Sometimes you can find it cheaper than that. And I'm going to use my Embella Jelly and pick up a stone, and this is a star, um, just sparkle. And you can use this to arrange exactly how you want to orient it and stick it exactly where you want. And there's no futzing around with it and dropping it and trying to figure out where things are going and how to get them put where you want them. Just stick and drop. So there's my stars on my chevron. And then I'm going to do the same thing, only with teeny tiny rhinestones to give some extra sparkle to my stars. So, coat of clear polish, pick up a teeny tiny star, or I'm sorry, a rhinestone, and stick that on a star. It's just occurred to me that I sound super chippy and up excited while I'm making these videos, and that's really kind of odd for me, but oh well, okay. So now all the nails that need them have the extra sparkles, and that is the completed 4th of July look. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, and thanks a bunch. Happy 4th of July, everybody!